Hey, I'm KIC, and welcome back to a little more Transport Fever. We're playing a, a free game, a randomly generated game on the Seed Cat. C-A-T. Doing Europe, small map, medium terrain, and cat for the Seed. We've actually started in the 1950s because I thought it would be fun to shift gears and go from the 1850s and jump forward all the way to the 1950s when technology is a little different and we have things like cars driving through town. Uh, wow, don't, don't run over that person. Oh, where'd the car go? It just vanished. Well, that's awkward. It's interesting that they're all bugs. They're all Volkswagen Beetles. Apparently that is everything that's over here. I did, I did mention I'm playing in Europe, right? Just for giggles, trying to do something a little different, that's all. There are vehicles everywhere. It is a really curious pathfinding system that they just kind of shove their way through. There are no stop signs, no stoplights, no whatever, and everyone just kind of does as they so fit. It's quite interesting. Not quite sure how it works like that and, and why it does, but um, it does. It does. To get things going, I thought we would start with Ford Witch. That's kind of down here in the corner. I mean, we have Maryport and Whitnash and et cetera, et cetera, but I thought we would start with Ford Witch. Ford Witch, because we kind of have stuff like this. We have the quarry over here, and then on this side, we have the construction materials plant, which accepts stone. Now, obviously, being a quarry, this quarry is going to produce stone, and uh, the plant over here can't really make any construction materials without stone, although it also might need slag. Does it need both of them? Hmm. I'm actually not sure about that now. Maybe I shouldn't start over there. What do we have on this side then? What do you have? Uh, oil refinery. You make fuel and oil from crude oil. So presumably there's somewhere that, that works on that. There's a coal mine. So that gets us coal. All right, I'm just taking a look at what all is around. This is interesting. You need coal and iron ore, then you can make steel and slag, and more steel. I'm not quite sure how that works exactly when it shows all those things like that. Does it mean that you're going to get both or just one? I'm, I'm not really sure. Goods factory, all right. I saw there was one over here. There we go, there's a big farm. So there's the the salt ash farm. Question is, where, where do you take all of that food to? I don't see anyone that's going to process that. Is that maybe going over here? That's an oil refinery. Chemical plant. Food processing plant, so that would work. Could do the farm there to the food processing plant. Why do you have two food processing plants? That's interesting. I guess they're expecting to get all the food from from whatever this place is too. From salt ash? I don't know, That that's interesting. Maybe we'll start here then, just to kind of in a way, do something we did previously, but to do it under slightly more hmm, contemporary circumstances. So we're going to switch to our road and we're going to cargo. I had to switch that one there. We're going to put a truck station. Let's do a large truck station. That costs uh, a bunch of money, but that's okay. I can afford that for the moment. Just trying to figure out where is it cheapest. Um, pretty good right there. 34,000, 32,000, ooh, 29,000, done, 27,006, nice, that is cheap, I, I like that, let's go back and do another one, and this is going to go somewhere, ooh, you are much too expensive on that side, uh, you're a little better over here, 32, 29, hi cat, how's it going, welcome to the party, try not to bump the microphone any more than you already have, I would appreciate that. What are you doing? You're being you're being funny. I don't know why you're being funny, but you are being funny. You're being funny. Okay, we need to put a road depot down, so I don't know, where do we want to put that guy? Let's let's kind of put it in the middle. Um maybe, maybe not. Helps if I hit the right key to rotate it. That's what I was trying to do. Rotate it. And I was not hitting the right key. Boom, done. All right, so let's buy, um, you know what, here, let's do the line first. Let's, let's do a new line. We're going to do 
the need to be able to click on that and that. So this is going to be the St. Mary, let's rename you, backspace, backspace, St. Mary Food Run. <laughs> There we go. Oh no, that's not right. Um, I need another one over here. Ah, crud. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to go to both then. Well, that was silly. Oh well, maybe I'm just planning for the future. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, apparently. Let me switch to that one. Big truck station. Because I, I need to go get food from the farm first. Otherwise, there's, there's really nothing to process. So, there we go. St. Mary's Food Run, add to station, the St. Mary Cray Halt, that would be the farm, unless I totally broke this. Yeah, that's the farm. Okay, so good. Good, good, good. We can buy a road vehicle. Let's buy, we need something that can carry cargo. Do we want to go with the Benz or the Opel Blitz? Um, let's see, running cost 22000 a year, 10000 a year. 30 years, 30 years. Loading speed, it's not as fast to load. Top speed is a little lower, a little higher. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's go crazy. We're going to buy the Opel Blitz. And you know what? We're going to buy two of them. Um, meant to buy another one. Buy another one. Done. Set the line to the St. Mary Food Run. And we'll just let those guys uh, pop out now. Road vehicle numero uno. Look at them go. Yeah, look at that. 37 miles per hour. All right. That is that is good. Almost like modern day. Ooh, you got 38 miles per hour going. You must be going downhill or something. You guys are really going the wrong way, but I'll let you figure it out. They'll they'll figure it out eventually. What we might want to do, though, just to kind of have fun with that and keep on the general idea of playing with buses and trucks and that sort of thing is, um, hmm. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Maybe do a, a bus stop. We can do a couple of these. No, I feel like we need to put a, a big bus station somewhere, but I don't know where to do that one. Let's put a bus stop right there. And then... Let's put one... Over there. And then maybe one in the middle of town. Ish. And these people are going to be... All right, I'll be... No, you know what? We'll put the bus station over there. Why not? We'll be nice. And then we'll do maybe one more somewhere kind of here. And maybe one there. And then here, let's do a bus station. I feel like that might be kind of fun to do that. Why not? So we'll just add this right there. That'll be good. And then let's go ahead and set up a new line. So we're going to do a new line. We're going to go bus station, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, and bus stop. And I do think there's one more. And then back, and then look at that. So this is going to be the, uh, what are you? The St. Mary bus line. That sounds good. So the St. Mary bus. We'll just call it that. And then we need to go back to our depot now. Where are you? Right there. We're going to buy a road vehicle, and we need to get ourselves a passenger bus so we can do... Uh, what do we want to do? Maybe the Daimler Top Seater. 22 miles per hour. Could do the Zauer Tuscher. Tuscher? Is that right? Tuscher? It's expensive. 131000 bucks. I think since we're just kind of going through town, I'm, I'm kind of okay with cheaping it out. I mean, it doesn't have to go very far, so I kind of feel like that's not a bad thing. There you go. Join the St. Mary bus line for me, please, and we can check that out in a minute. It's going to be kind of funny to, to watch that one, I think. 
Now, what do you have going on here? You you should be you should be running with some. Ooh, you have some livestock, so you're going to transport livestock. And where are you going to? Why am I missing a truck? Did I did I not buy? How many did I buy? I, I could have sworn I bought two. Where are you? Ah, you're loading? There you are. All right. So you have some grain. The other one has some livestock. That's kind of annoying because they're never, ever going to have anything to take to this one. Maybe you take bread. What do you take? That one, hmm. They both take livestock and, and grain, so... I don't know. They're, that one's never going to get anything unless I decide to connect one of the other farms to it. That's kind of annoying. Because that's a long distance to go. kind of would rather just build a farm, but I don't think I can do that. Where's our passenger bus? Okay, it hasn't quite made it yet. This guy should be dropping off goods. There we go, making some money. Ooh, and look at that, producing some food. Now, I guess once this starts producing food, is it is it going to take the food into, into town automatically? I mean, how does that work? Do I need to uh, set up transport for them to go into town somewhere? I don't know how that works. I do kind of want to just kick around an idea here, though. Can we connect that? There we go. Look at that. That looks groovy. I like the look of that. Gives us a little extra, you know, I'm kind of thinking once once the bus gets to this one, it can just go right through there and cut right back around. I think that'll be efficient-ish. Speaking of the bus, where are you? Let's go ahead and close that for the moment. There it is. Let's do this for the moment, because it'll be kind of hilarious. This is kind of cool driving through the town, though, I must admit. But yeah, it's going to be kind of weird, because this is like all sorts of craziness. People walking across the street, cars going by. It's it's just madness. I, I don't understand. It is so crazy. Oh, there's an open restaurant there. Got the smokestacks. There's a chemical station or something along those lines. Walking with your hard hat on. That's pretty good. Oh, don't run this guy over. He looks friendly enough. Let's not run him over. Yeah, I could just sit here and do this for a while. I really, truly could. This is kind of cool. You know, it makes me regret not playing a little, uh, I don't know, American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator or something like that. I, I think I could enjoy this. I really do. Aside from the cars just magically popping into view, that's kind of annoying. But aside from that, aside from that, this is, this is pretty cool. Yeah, excuse me. Out of the way, sir. Bus coming through. Some people, man. Jeez, some people. I tell ya. Gotta say, the people are very shiny. Maybe more so than they, they should be, but... I don't know. All that said, there are a lot of people and things going on. I mean, look at this. You got a crane moving, smokestacks going people everywhere, cars going by. There's a lot of stuff going on that the game is calculating. That's kind of crazy. Hello, sir. Oh, we ran you. Oh, we ran that guy over. Oh, that's that's terrible. Someone get outside and scrape him off the bus. That's oh, that's unfortunate. Just out of curiosity, is anyone even using the bus? I don't know if anyone were you on the bus. I don't even know if you were on the bus. Um, yeah, there we go. Achievement unlocked. You didn't see that. It, it happened. You might have heard it, though. I am curious. I mean, is anyone actually using the bus? I have no idea. And like that, the food processing plant. What am I supposed to do with that? Can I, can I take that and bring that to the restaurant? I mean, how does that work exactly? Do I need to, do I need to do that? I don't, I don't know how that works. Is it automatic, maybe? I don't, I don't know these things. All right. For right now, we'll leave that alone because we can probably do a little more work elsewhere because we do have the refineries going on. 
Let's see, what do we have over here? We have the chemical plant, and we have a chemical plant, and we have a refinery, and then over here we have a forest. Well, that's interesting. So these guys are already doing the, the food run. I feel like I just need to take this one off of the line. Although they must be taking food to it, because otherwise they wouldn't have any production going on. So, I don't know, maybe this one... I don't know, I guess it is working. That is... Hmm. I didn't think it was, but I guess it is. Yeah, we probably need more trucks on that, come to think of it. I mean... I'm just looking at that, and uh, this guy's at 100. He's at production limit. He's got a bunch of stuff all stored up over here. Waiting to be taken away. Look at that. Look at all this stuff stored up. I mean, we can just kind of watch for a second as the truck pulls in. Should see a bunch of goods disappear, I, I think. Anyway, I think they should. There we go. Yep, see? Bunch of, bunch of goods are vanishing because the truck is all loaded up now. I mean, this sucker is totally loaded up. Holy cow. And it is making money. It really is. It cost a little bit to run initially. But it's going to slowly make its money back. I mean, yeah, sure. It definitely does cost some money to run, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe what I should do is have one of these... I should maybe split this into two lines and have... One truck that just goes between these two and one truck that goes between these two rather than going to all three because the truck's just going to drop everything off? Maybe not. All right. Well, it still does seem kind of wasteful. I mean, why why aren't you dropping everything off over here? This this guy's not full of, of storage or anything. I mean, there's nothing over here, so I don't know. Unless you're taking livestock from there to somewhere else. I mean, I don't know how that would work exactly. Some of this game is still a mystery to me. I don't I don't understand how some of it works. So, you know, what can you do, right? Which one are you? You're road vehicle number two. So you're the one that left the other manufacturer. I'm just going to follow it and see what it does. Meanwhile, I'm watching this one too. This one's pulling in. Dropped off six livestock. This one's going to drop off probably the remaining six. And then it's going to head back to the halt. And then this one's going to take the livestock over here. So I really have them going out of their way in a rather inefficient way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new line. And we'll just include that one and that one. And we'll say this is... St. Mary Food Run Part 2. St. Mary Food Run... Nope, let's capitalize that since I did the other time. I don't know why I did. Number 2. And then we're going to take the St. Mary's... I want to see that. And we're going to get rid of... So, Halt and West. And then, which one are you? I don't, I don't know which one it was. You're West. So, we're going to get rid of St. Mary's West. We'll remove that. So, then I need to assign. Um, which one are you going to? You're going to the exchange here. Road vehicle number one. Where are you going? Let's just give you food run number two. I don't know what I'm doing. So, theoretically, that one is... Let's see. Where are you? Are you loading up? You are dropping off. Okay, so... Theoretically now, what we have going on is a little more efficient. Where that vehicle is only going to one location and this one is only going to one location. Although, this one didn't pick up any stuff. I'm not sure why not. Why didn't you, why didn't you pick anything up? Now I want to watch that and see if it picks anything up over there. Because I'm so confused about this. I don't, I don't think it should. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I'm watching these numbers here just to see. Beep, beep. Ooh, the Lockheed Super Constellation. We should definitely do that. Yeah, see, there's nothing for you to pick up. So that one picked up some grain, and it's going to go to 
we come back out here, you're going to go only that way. So this truck... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you going over there? Did I, did I get rid of the wrong one? Cray West to halt. West in exchange. I did. I got rid of the wrong one. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, get rid of that one. Yeah, I know. Line contains too few stations. I know. So Cray West and Cray Halt. But now I'm doing the exact same thing. So that's not right either. Um, okay, so get rid of West and then add that one. Hey. They are that one. That one. Okay, so Halt and Exchange. Isn't that what I just did? I don't know what I just did. Maybe that's not what I just did. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so the green one, I know where that one goes. The yellow one, okay. So now they both look like they're correct. Oh, man. Although, interestingly enough, that one did not drop off all of its livestock. So maybe... Did it only load up two? I, I thought it had more on there. Maybe it had grain before. I don't know. This is interesting to try and figure out. The one on number two, I think this one over here, has 11 livestock. So let's see if, if they drop them all off. I mean, theoretically, you should, right? Otherwise, what's the point? And now you're picking up grain. What are you doing with that? Where are you taking that to? Because they don't want grain. And you're dropping off livestock. And you don't have any more. So you dropped off the grain and picked up the livestock. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I... I don't know what they're doing. I just want to look at the finances and see what they cost. Because I, I am baffled at the moment. I, I don't know what I'm doing with them. Apparently one of them is making more money than the other, which... Fine, good. Good, good, good. Good, fine, etc. Um, I, I feel okay about that. I would kind of like to mess with an airport, though. But that is stupidly expensive. Holy cow, that's expensive. Um, yes, let's remove a bunch of buildings. Ooh. Yeah, that is killing the system right now trying to do this. There must be a crap ton of calculations it's doing to figure this out because it is just killing everything. Holy cow, it's not even funny. And then I still need a, to set up a, a runway somewhere else, I think, right? Small airport, medium airport. I don't know, this is, this is bonkers. Wow. 500,000. I guess that's not too expensive if we put it way out here. That's not bad, I don't know. Anyway, we'll save that one for another one because uh, I'm going to leave this where we're at right now. We got a little bit... Going in here, I... Hello. Game burp right there. I was going to say, I bet this one's not making any money. I really bet it's not, and, and it's not. And that's okay. I'm not too worried about that one making money. I just thought that would be a, a nice... A nice little thing for the town to provide bus service, because I'm a philanthropist that way. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.